Parts of Cheektowaga and Buffalo's east side have been identified as a cancer cluster. As 7 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps tells us, people who live there had some tough questions for the state health department. And on my street alone, we lost so many people. Good people. First they were okay, next minute they were diagnosed with cancer. Martha McMillan has lived on the east side for 40 years. In that time, she's lost many of her neighbors to cancer. I live on Brinkman, and between, we've lost over 70 people over there, and they've all died from cancer. The Department of Health identified Martha's neighborhood as a cancer cluster. This includes the east side of Buffalo and West Cheektowaga. Because of this, the DOH conducted cancer studies of the area. Martha came to the Buffalo Science Museum Tuesday looking for answers. One possible explanation for the higher rates of cancer were that there are much higher rates of tobacco use among the population here in the study area. The study also showed that people may not have access to the care they need. After hearing the results, dozens voiced their concerns, saying they believe it's more than just tobacco. We live on polluted land. Our water is white, our driveways are cracking, but no one comes and talks to us about anything. And we, we keep saying that we need help, but no one will help us. And if you care, care and come and help. I don't want to hear about nothing else about a study. It's sad, it really, and it hurts me because I am a cancer survivor. Um, you know, they should know that the state DEC and state DOH were working really hard to um, identify existing uh, hazardous waste sites. Martha says she wants to see the health department put more of a focus on the east side and fears the consequences if it doesn't happen. We would die out. If no one help us, we would die out. The whole east side is dying. And Governor Andrew Cuomo announced a grant of more than $600,000 will go toward addressing the cancer cluster. And that money will be used for a cancer prevention action project. And a group of local leaders will come together to help reduce the use of tobacco in our area. Live in the newsroom tonight, Taylor Epps, 7 Eyewitness News.